Hey guys, Kenny within the pocket here again, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my custom anodized Kaiser T1. Um, first off, I'm going to apologize about the noise in the background. Um, they are like jackhammering some concrete over there today, and I can't really control that, so I got time to do it, and I got to do it, uh, you know, with the circumstances we got. So, here we go. Um, I'm going to try a, a bit of a different format today, and what I'm going to be talking about is, um, you guys can let me know in the comments whether you like the way I do this, but... What I'm going to start with is my reasons for buying, you know, the philosophy I had in purchasing this knife and then finishing up with the reality. And when I got it and used it, uh, did it live up to, um, you know, what I had, what I had expected from it or what the hype was on the knife in the first place, whether it be from reviews or, you know, uh, other YouTube reviews or something like that. Um, just what I had heard about it and the reality of it. And also, like I said, the reasons for buying it. So, I'm gonna get right into it. Um, first off, I'm gonna just say, you know, I do, you know, absolutely love this knife. And I just custom anodized these about, uh, you know, a few weeks ago. Um, I did it originally with the gold here and then gold at the top with the acid green. If you've seen it in my other videos, uh, you've probably already seen it, you know, if you've seen some of my other ones. But, yeah, I love the anodizing. Um, I like this blue better than the two-tone one I did before. You can see it scratching and snail trailing, but, you know, I don't mind that. It's a user. I use the hell out of this knife, um, especially getting ready for this review. I used it for about a week straight. Um, and then I just dropped it before this video, so I'll show you uh, how sharp it still is. Um, anyways, so my reasons for buying. Uh, when, I, <clears throat> when I first looked at this knife, um, I wanted to try custom anodizing. I wanted to do some titanium, so I was looking into some titanium frame locks, and this one was a reasonable price and had had pretty high praises from, you know, different reviews. And, you know, I, I, I found it appealing, but bland. So I figured it'd be a perfect candidate for, you know, this, uh, this process. Now, um, it was a good size, uh, was another reason I picked it for that was it was, you know, it's just above the blade length is just over three inches. I'm going to go ahead and put the put the um, specs on the page now, but the size of the knife was a big time. You know, that was, it's right in that range where I feel comfortable carrying it every day. I'm not gonna pull it out and someone's gonna be worried about it. So um, that's, the size really definitely fit me and it's got a good handle size for my hands, which are medium to large. Um, yeah, and uh, it had an attractive blade shape. It, it looks good, you know, I like that blade shape. It's just that, you know, standard drop point. It's got a nice flat with a nice belly to a pretty, pretty fine, acute tip. So very nice, attractive blade shape. Um, it's also, it had a great value. I got, a, I got an excellent deal on it, um, which is why I grabbed it too, was because you know, I knew I was going to anodize it. I didn't want to spend, even though it's a great value to begin with at $170, um, I managed to pick this guy up on uh, eBay for about $130. Uh, I mean, I think the reason for that is if you look at the bevel here, it's got a nice crisp, nice crisp edge there. On this side, you can see here, it has a flat spot right there. It's hard to see with the anodizing, kind of hides it, and the wear on the anodizing. But, you know, it's got a flat spot there in the bevel. I think that's why it was 130 bucks, or he was willing to let it go for that cheap, because it was brand new, 130. Um, yeah, but it was a great value in general. And I wanted to try it. And I really had only had mostly American knives, except for my Kershaw's and uh, CRKT's I had before. But 
you know, in my upper end knives, it was always American made. This is, was my first like, you know, China made up, upgraded knife, more expensive knife. Um, yeah, so yeah, this was, you know, that, those were the reasons for me wanting to buy it. And, you know, I heard about the, it had good action and everything. I like the thumb studs, you know, I heard it had good ergos. So I went for it. And when I got it, let's just say it impressed me. It blew me away. It was everything that they had said, for sure. Um, the action, the detent is pretty strong, especially for a thumb stud. And it, it was almost difficult at first. You're like, wow, it took a lot. But as I broke it in, now it's a lot less you know, it was really strong when I first got it. But what, what that made is a knife that absolutely flies out. I mean, once you disengage the detent, it just flies out of there. And it has a great sound. I don't know how well that's going to come through, but yeah, it was amazing. And the action dr shutting is just as amazing. It was so smooth. I mean, I have it pretty tight right now. But if I loosen this just a little bit, I mean, it still has really sturdy lockup in every direction. But it had amazing action right out of the box. One thing I'll say is they don't put Loctite in this pivot. And the, <laughs> I want to say, violent shaking that this knife gets when you when you um, deploy it, it's definitely loosens up the pivot. So you gotta take that out and put some, uh, some Loctite in there, some blue, blue Loctite, guys, blue. And it's absolutely, after that, no problems and just so much fun. I mean, I know knives aren't, you know, they're tools, but I am a, I do fidget. So something in my hand that I can, play with when I'm by myself because I don't like to do it with my wife in the room or anybody <laughs> unless it's my buddies that like knives but even then I mean it's it's just excellent excellent action and just the detent you can hear it here I'll try and oh, I'm talking Let's see if I can you see it pull it in it's got a great sound to it but yeah, just a great, great detent, great action. Um, the blade um, is a great slicer. This blade really performs well. Um, I used the I used the factory edge pretty much to what I would consider dull. Most wouldn't consider it dull, but it would still cut stuff. But it wasn't paper slicing anymore or anything. And then I went ahead and sharpened it on the KME and got a pretty fine, really sharp edge that I ended up getting a really slicey blade out of it. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, 18 thousandths behind the edge right here, just behind the secondary bubble. And then I have to grab just behind the edge there. So like, yeah, 18. Needless to say, yeah, it's a slicer. You know, twenty thousands down here. It does thicken a little bit to the to the um, tip, which you can see by the by the secondary bevel widening up by the tip. Definitely thickens a little bit. Yeah, up to like twenty five thousandths or something right at the tip. So yeah, that's what I got earlier. Pretty much lines up. And then, yeah, I mean, what I'm going to do here, I know this is kind of out of, you know, out of context here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit size comparison. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start with everyone knows the paramilitary too. I'm going to go ahead and line it up right at the blade pivot so you can see the handle versus the blade. Um, paramilitary two, and then the Delica.
you know, pretty similar size to the Delica with a little more cutting, cutting edge, which if you live in an area that doesn't allow over three inches, this guy's just out of range. But yeah, and then of course the Paramilitary 3, let's go ahead and put that on there. Oop, I'm off. All right, you guys see that? And the Kaiser Gemini, let's go ahead and show you that. Really similar, really similar to the T1, but smaller, guys. Don't think that this is gonna be the same size if you have the T1 and you're looking at the Gemini or vice versa. This is a smaller knife, for sure. Um, even though the blade lengths and, you know, relatively, Gemini's a little bit smaller blade length, smaller handle, it's thinner in hand. The T1 is more filling in the hand. Uh, again, guys, sorry, this is so out of whack. I should have done this at the beginning when I talked about the size, which, again, I put on the screen, but there's the Benchmade 940 and then against the Mini Grip. Much more real estate on the T1. Yeah, that's good enough, guys. Um, yeah, so I really did like the size of this knife when I got it and the way the handle... It's got excellent ergos. Um, it fits in hand. This sculpted G, I mean, oh, G10. This sculpted uh, titanium handles. You see how they have some curvature to them? And it really does fit great in hand. I haven't found really any hot spots. Um, the clip's done pretty nicely. It's flat, and I don't find it to be a hot spot, really. I bear down on this thing pretty hard, and... It's not going anywhere, and it feels great. It feels great in hand, I will say. Excellent ergos on this guy. Um, and, you know, it's ball bearing pivot, you know, ball bearings. So it's super smooth, like I said. So that coming out of the box was amazing. Probably the first one I'd felt like this with ball bearings that was this smooth. And... Uh, taking it apart, it was pretty easy. They have good steel slabs in there. It's it's done well, and it's the centering is like perfect. You know, uh, I could tighten it down, and there was no issue. Nothing wanted to move or twist, or everything went back together perfectly. Even after anodizing twice, it it's definitely excellent. Um, they do a good job with the tolerances on this guy, but again, you know, my my Jim and I. I don't know if you saw this in other ones. This has great action, but it is off. Um, I'll be going into that in the Gemini, you know, when I finally do that. But yeah, uh, this guy's got a good weight to it too. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Oh, 4.31. So, you know, that's not bad. That's not very heavy. I mean, it's not great for the blade length, I mean, obviously, you know, you're getting more blade length at a much lighter knife with the 940. But it doesn't have as slicey of a blade. It's not as, um, you know, it's just not a, as thin behind the edge and as broad of a blade. This thing slices excellent with, um, you know, this drop point with a flat here. I mean, it's got a little bit of saber here before the flat grind but it uh, absolutely thins out nicely. And the tip is, you know, they could have done a little bit more distal tapering, but it's pretty good. It's a really beefy blade, even though it still slices well. I'm definitely impressed with the way this thing has been. Love the way it functions. Um, but again, nice weight, great action. Um, the carry is really good. It's got this curve, curve, um, on the clip and then the knife kind of goes back so it definitely hides away in the pocket pretty well easy to get easy to get by it you know and it's not very broad either you can see these half inch squares I'm about you know it's probably about one and three eighths broad which isn't bad you know it gets out of the way pretty good and for that much slicing you know, for that broad of a blade and that hand filling of a handle, that's pretty good. But yeah, excellent. And then 
what I will say is the value of this as well. Um, oh, yeah, sorry, guys. I did want to talk about the clip a little bit. Um, the clip, it's not the best clip. Uh, it is a nice, you know, they do a good job with the cutting, with the CNC milling of it. But it's not very tall, and this doesn't ramp very well. So, you know, definitely not the Spider Co. clip as far as getting on the pocket. But I'll show you some footage of that. It was, yeah, it's, it's a great, uh, it's a nice clip, but it's not, it's not the easiest to get on and off of your pocket, but not bad. Now, uh, the value, uh, this thing is a great value. You're getting titanium scales, uh, ball, you know, ball bearing pivot that's super smooth. And I think it's a ceramic, uh, detent ball and it's excellent. I think it might be ceramic uh, ball bearings. I'm not sure on that. It's, it's definitely excellent value. Um, S35VN steel, which like I said, I, I put this thing to work and the steel seems to hold up really well and I haven't had any chipping. It's tough. It's, it's great for EDC. I mean, I've been, I did not take it easy on this. I'll show you the footage. I'll be running that here. And I was cutting through a lot of heavy boxes, through a lot of tape. Yeah, it held up really well. And um, I'll show you. This was after a lot of... I had, I had sharpened it, and then I used it, then I stropped it, then I carried it for like a week and a half straight. It's not amazingly sharp, but it is... You know, this is really light recycle paper, like... It's still not, yeah, pretty push cut. This paper is a hard demonstration. Let's go through two. I'll show you it's going through two. Yeah, it's pretty sharp, pretty quiet. That's pretty good for all the carry I got out of it. And it's still ready to carry for another you know, maybe a week or so, but excellent. Really happy with the, the S35 that Kaiser's done. Even the Gemini too, I haven't gotten to carry this one quite as much, but yeah, this guy has been great. And the value again, um, you can't really beat it. I mean, here's another example. I mean, here's a titanium frame lock. And I mean, don't get me wrong, this is, really excellently done knife with some great milling and stuff going on with this too and actually uh i actually prefer having the foster bronze washers at times you know you don't want to have if you're going to be getting grime in there you don't want to you don't want to have the ball bearings so there's things about this that i would want too but you know this is just as much you know going on with this as that knife and you're talking $45 less on standard pricing. And I got it for 130 Like, I mean, yeah. Almost $100 less than, than the Spyderco. Yeah, I mean, I understand that's made in America. And I'll pay the extra for the made in America. But I mean, there's no over-travel stop here. Which you have an over-travel stop with, a, you know built-in lock interface it's just it's it's excellently made with a lot going on all the bells and whistles all the bells and whistles you would expect from um a t a t a geez i can't talk right now guys uh titanium frame lock um yeah excellent just excellently done and i love the fact that i did this and it looks great and i'm super stoked with this knife in general um, I know I rambled a lot here, guys, and I did try this new format, and I was hoping to keep it more concise, but it's all right. I'm glad I got through it, and let me know what you think, you know, so the reasons for buying, I, I really did want to try anodizing. I wanted to try this knife. I wanted to try, a, you know, a high-end Chinese production knife, um, and I was not let down. I was super impressed with, with what I got.
It's excellent action, excellent blade. It is a work knife, um, even though it is kind of a gentleman's carry, especially after the anodizing and stuff. Um, you can put this thing to work. I mean, the blade really works good. I don't find it to like get blade play after weeks of use because you can tighten it down. Um, it's excellent. Uh, great in hand, great in the pocket, very thin in the pocket. Um, let me go ahead and show you this dimension. I know I'm going back into it here. Uh, four, yep, 0.47, which I showed you in the, sure I showed you, but this is the actual, you know what I'm getting here. So 0.47, just under half inch, which is fine. Like I said, for the way it fills the hand, you, you know, you can't beat that. But yeah, super impressed with the knife. Um, let me know what you guys think of the format of my video today. Let me know what you think of your T1, um, if you have it. And let me know if you, know, you think as highly of this as I do, because it's a great knife and I'm <clears throat> impressed by Kaiser on this one. And yeah, uh, mostly love American made products, but when something great comes along like this at a great price, it's hard to say no, especially when you love knives. All right, guys, have a great day, um, and I'm sure I missed something, <laughs> and you can let me know what I missed, but yep, thanks for watching, take it easy.